Peace be with you everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Trevor, really grateful to have you here today. And in today's video, I'm just going to be doing a full review of this fragrance right here, Ancre Noir à l'Extreme from the House of Lalique. Uh, so this is a 2015 release, it's a flanker to the original Ancre Noir, hence the à l'Extreme. Uh, so the name Ancre Noir sort of means like the dark ink, Ancre is ink and the Noir is like dark black or night. And this is an extreme version of uh, the regular Ancre Noir. Uh, so Ancre meaning ink, you definitely get a uh, like a central accord that is reminiscent of uh, pen ink, like if you ever busted open a pen and gotten it all over your hands or your uh, pen pocket, something like that in school, that's definitely the central accord that you get out of this fragrance. Um, let's go ahead and do an application uh, just so you can get a look at the atomizer. Beautiful atomizer, really great high quality. Um, what's, what else is cool about this fragrance is that it is a cheapie, so you can find it for just under $40 for full presentation at discounters right now. Under $30 if you can find a tester. Um, and uh, the general consensus within the fragrance community is that this is niche quality, meaning that it's just uh, of the highest bracket of quality that you can get for a fragrance despite its cheap price tag. Uh, and so part of the reason why you've got uh, such a beautiful juice color and a high quality fragrance at a low price is because the perfumer is Nathalie Lorson. So if you're not familiar with Nathalie Lorson, uh, some of the other fragrances she's done are Zadig and Voltaire's This Is Him. Uh, she's worked alongside Olivier Cresp uh, on the entire Givenchy Gentleman line. And then perhaps most famously she's done Bentley for Men and Bentley for Men Intense. Uh, so she is sort of the premier perfumer for creating a high quality fragrance with a low budget. Uh, so that's definitely what you get here. Uh, like I said, you can pick this up uh, for under $40. It's a cheapie, but it is incredible uh, value for money, definitely. Incredible scent profile. Not mass appealing by any means, but this is definitely a fragrance that fragrance enthusiasts will find a lot of enjoyment out of wearing. Uh, so the, like I said, the main accord in here is somewhat like a pen ink, um, but what makes, so that's basically what you get with the original Ancre Noir, it's just like a sort of a woody pen ink. Uh, now this one, what it does differently than the original is that it has uh, some like benzoin and patchouli and incense that sort of add a certain warmth to it. It's not quite a sweetness. Uh, except for maybe in the deep dry down, there's like a little bit of powderiness that comes out of like an orris root and benzoin mingling together. Uh, but otherwise, there, this is not particularly uh, sweet by any means. Um, it definitely has a, a certain warmth to it. Um, you know, I was taking a walk in my neighborhood a few weeks ago and there was somebody burning some leaves in their driveway in a, in a fire pit and the aroma from the smoke that the leaves was giving off was incredibly reminiscent of the way that this smells. So there's like a certain sweetness in the dried leaves uh, that was filling the air in the smoke that was coming out of that bonfire. It's a good way to describe this one. Uh, if you can kind of take that and extrapolate it a little bit, this also smells a bit like a burning book. So you get all of that, those same uh, nuances and accords that were coming out of like burning leaves, but you add that little bit of extra ink, inkiness uh, from the print in the book. Uh, so this is somewhat like a burning book, a pile of burning leaves. Uh, now another thing that you could do to kind of imagine how this smells, because it has a lot of dry woodiness juxtaposed really well with a lot of uh, like damp earthiness, maybe like from the patchouli. Um, so you can almost imagine walking into a maybe an abandoned log cabin deep into the woods. Uh, so the dryness from the cabin itself and the woody aspects of that are going to be intermingling with the sort of damp, uh, green, earthy environment that's surrounding the cabin. Uh, so that's another way that you can kind of imagine what this fragrance is going to smell like, like an abandoned cabin deep into the, the woods on like a foggy day perhaps. Um, it's also very austere of a fragrance, I would say. Uh, very formal, uh, kind of, ma very mature. Um, another vision that you can use to get an idea of how this smells is like an, an old church. A uh, little bit gothic maybe, made out of wood, and then there's some of the incense burning inside of the church that's giving that smoky, um, 
milieu in the air. Uh, so yeah, like uh, church, Gothic church burning incense, cabin deep into the woods, burning book. These are all sort of descriptions that you can kind of imagine to get an idea of what this might smell like. Um, so uh, places that I could see wearing this, for me, I personally reach for this on rainy days and foggy days. I think those two sort of environments in, you know, like the anywhere between 30 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit in the autumn and uh, transitioning into winter is going to be a perfect place for this one. Uh, anytime you're wearing a turtleneck, uh, any occasions where that's appropriate, I think this is also going to be something that you can wear in that situation. Ideally, like a black turtleneck would go really well with this. Um, visiting a museum or some type of, uh, you know, building or event like that where uh, you're just kind of a little bit dressed up and it's uh, educational in some sense. This is another place where I would wear this one. Um, trying to think uh yeah funerals this would be a great one for a funeral like i said it's like a little bit austere and serious um but you know and not really like in your face and in kind of austere and reserved for like a situation like that uh, a lot of people associate the ancre noir line with death in some sense um which i can kind of get like i could see it smelling uh, a little bit uh like just something to do with death, I could see, and I see why people make those associations. Uh, so that being said, uh, as people that I could see wearing this fragrance, uh, like it's definitely mature, 30 plus, uh, hyper masculine. The wood and I think maybe the cypress in here definitely gives it uh, an edge that's uh, not quite as appropriate for women. I think women can maybe get away with the original and the sport version of this, but I think this one's quite masculine. Um, so yeah, I think uh, since it's got that inky base or like the main accord is ink and uh, I think an author could probably get away with wearing this or somebody that's in a creative field I think is going to enjoy the Ancre Noir line. Um, and since it sort of uh, dances with death, you know, like maybe if the original Ancre Noir smelled like death, this is more of like an afterlife kind of fragrance in the sense that the resins and the smoke and the orris root kind of give it a certain warmth that animates and haunts it as opposed to, you know, just being like a corpse type fragrance that some people associate with the original Ancre Noir. Uh, so I could see somebody that's sort of uh, flirting with death, like a paleontologist I think I could see wearing this, like maybe um, like the, the guy in Jurassic Park, I think John Hammond is his name, like the guy who founded the park, he's got that staff with the amber in the top with the mosquito in it. Um, I could see somebody like that wearing this fragrance. Um, so yeah, overall, uh, I don't know if we did an application or not. I'll just go ahead and put one on this hand in case you, in case we didn't do it. Uh, so yeah, great atomizer. Uh, just let that kind of like waft in the air a bit. And um, yeah, beautiful, uh, smoky, woody, earthy. Um, longevity on this one is somewhere in the ballpark of, uh, I get between like five and seven hours, I want to say. I wore this yesterday and put it on at like 10 in the morning and I could still get faint wafts of it late into like two or three o'clock. So I think that's about like six hours. It's about like six hours longevity on this one. There's pretty good projection on it, uh, about an arm's length for about one to two hours. Uh, my overall rating on this fragrance is that I would give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, the longevity is, it's good but not great, and then it's not mass appealing, so it's not going to be getting too many compliments, but it is, uh, for me, a must have in my collection for rainy days and foggy days. Uh, it's also like just something that I think anybody who's introverted would be um, gravitating towards. Like I like to wear this uh, as like a cozy at home fragrance, just something for myself. Uh, definitely something that's great for wearing around the house. It's also like good for getting some work done. You know, it puts you in a productive mood because it has that inky tone in there. Um, but it has that warmth of being at home. So like working at home, I think this is a great work at home sort of fragrance. Whereas like the original Ancre Noir, I could see being more uh, office savvy. Um, 
But yeah, like I said, uh, 9 out of 10 on this one. I would recommend getting it. I'm probably going to be getting a backup bottle because as you can see, I'm a little bit past halfway done with this one. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll do uh, some reviews on the original and the Sport and then kind of give a uh, another video on comparing them all and what my recommendation would be. But I have to say this is my favorite out of those three. Uh, so if you don't have this one, um, you know, I, I don't know if it's a quite blind buy safe because like I said, it's not mass appealing, but for the price, you might as well just go ahead and pick one up. Uh, so that's going to be Ancre Noir Alex Strem. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Uh, you know, I know top 10 lists are more popular, but for me, uh, I think the, uh, there's the most value to be offered in doing individual reviews. So that way if someone's uh, on the fence about picking something up, they can kind of get an idea of what that fragrance is going to smell like and if it's going to be working for them. Uh, so like I said, I hope you appreciate, or I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you stopping by and sticking with me to the end, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.